What's up guys, welcome to this video. In today's video I want to click, quickly show you how you can fix the issue if your war zone is crashing. Um, yeah, that's the topic of today's video. So just stick around if you're interested in that. But uh, before we start right into the topic, I would really like to mention something. You would certainly make my day if you could leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, yeah, would be very much appreciated. So thank you very much guys, but um, let's start right into the video. First of all, um, you need to um, click on your keyboard Windows button plus R and then this run window should open and here um, we can type in first of all percent program data percent and then click on OK. Then a window looking like this should open and here we've got a lot of um, folders and here we need to um, delete a few folders. First of all, um, all the battle.net uh, folders we need to um, just delete them and also this uh, Blizzard Entertainment folder uh, because it also belongs to the battle.net launcher. So just select these um, folders and then just um, either hit um, delete on your keyboard or just right click on it and click on delete. Uh, when you have opened your battle.net currently then just you need to um, close it best with the task manager and then we can uh, try it again um, because it's open then we need to open our task manager again click on more details and here there is apparently anything opened that's connected to battle.net uh, uh. try again that's it oh just uh, took a few seconds longer then um, yeah just need to make sure that these Battle.net and Blizzard folders are deleted, so we can uh, clear our cache. Then we can already close this folder and um, click Windows button and R again on the keyboard, and then uh, type in percent app da data percent and run it again. And here the same thing, just um, delete every folder that is connected to Battle.net. And if you've done that, we can already close this again, and then. Next thing, um, Windows search settings, open this app here and then click on privacy and security, Windows security, and then on firewall and network protection. And here, um, click on allow an app through firewall. And here there are um, a lot of few, uh, a lot of applications. And here you need to make sure that you um, accept we can click on change settings on the top right and here you need to make sure that you accept all that is that has to do with um, our war zone um, so just make sure that these buttons are checked and then if you've um, made a change just click on ok and that that's already it we can close this again and close this also and to the last thing just open again your Windows search, type in task manager and here um, you need to make sure that your war zone is opened and then click on more details in the task manager and here um, just find your war zone task. You can also sort it by the, the um, components, maybe easier to find it and then when you found your war zone just select it and um, click right click on it and then on um, go to details and then you need to make sure that you stay on the same task and then right click again and hover over set priority and select anything above normal um, very obvious uh, real time is the best high um, second best and so on um, real time um, and then just click on change priority and that should be it your war zone shouldn't crash anymore if that's 
the case just leave a like comment and subscribe if not just also leave a comment because then i i will write you back as soon as possible and we will surely find a solution but that's it thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye